Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Airborne Dreadnoughts. And today, a scenario uh, sent in by Phage Lord. Um, and this one caught my eye because uh, this is an alternate scenario where uh, during the... And I've done alternate Battle of, of Samar, um Laete Gulf kind of thing before. But um, this is where Taffy 3 has been destroyed... And this is the responding battleships, um, but they have already fought the Battle of Surigao Strait. So one of the design restrictions I have, uh, yes, let's continue, um, is that I cannot use anything larger than 16-inch guns. I'm not allowed to use torpedoes. And in addition, I have to use reduced shells. Um now, I could go for a super battleship, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go for the modern battleship one, I think. Try and keep this relatively sensible in terms of size and power and stuff. I'm going to go for the top end of the medium size, which is just over 52,000 tons. Um, I'm not going to use that modern tower because people don't like it when I do. Uh, so I'll go for this one. And this one. Actually, will I? I might. I might use the complete one. It's nice and neat and compact. It has better stats for its cost. Like, I don't. I'm not convinced the other ones are better. I think that one looks all right. Uh, assuming we can fit 16 inch guns on here we can perfect and we're going to go for the American classic ABX going to keep everything nice and neat and close to the towers so that it's behind the main belt uh, I'm never quite sure where the main belt starts I don't know if it's here where the hull starts to curve in, or if it's more like kind of here-ish. Um, it'd be really nice to be able to see, or whether the extender belt is actually just this section past the... Uh, I don't know what you call it, but this is the thing to stop the water washing over the deck. Um, but we'll go for that. Nice, neat, compact design. Uh, and then secondary guns. We're going to need a lot. Go for six inch guns there. And th three inch, no, two inch guns, yes. Now, are these the two inch guns that get in the way? Yeah, they are. So annoying. Because. Uh, yeah, I can't have that one. Uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to use these little circles. Oh, the ones on the front work. That's fine. Because uh, sometimes when you put guns in the little circles, they uh, they don't count towards getting in the way of your guns. And sometimes they do. So these ones impact the uh, X turret quite a lot. But if I put them there, I don't think it cares. Or does it? No, it does. Okay, so that's why I'm not using the ones on the rear. ones on the front seem to work. Uh, now then, we need a funnel. Uh, 84 smoke. I could, in theory, go for two, but I have nowhere to fit them. So I'll just go for just the one. Um, could go marine diesels, but the, the US didn't use diesels, so we'll go with geared turbines. Now uh, we'll go with a balanced draft boiler. Because I know the Yanks like their battleships going fast. 32 knots was, I think, Iowa. At least in World War II era. Um, those of you in the chat who know more about it than I do can tell me. Uh, we'll bring an auxiliary diesel engine. Auxiliary sh uh, improved shaft best arm we can. Uh, now I'm going to go with low, uh, short range because obviously they've been 
in battle already. Uh, we'll leave it on standard bolt kits for now. Uh, definitely want all the barbet thickness, state of the art torpedo protection. Just go for a double bottom hull. I don't think any uh, US ships have triple bottom hulls. Uh, we're getting towards our weight limit already. Let's get range finders, sonar, let's bring a radio. Mm. Semi auto, advanced hydraulic turrets. Now we need, must have reduced ammo. Propellant type. Um, quite fancy using TNT today. Mm, or will I? They could have something fairly monstrous. Let's go chew powder super heavy. Um, thank you, by the way, for the follow. Uh, will cut us? Is that right? Auto mod. <laughs> Getting in the way as usual. Thank you, Nage. Um, how is this midget? <laughs> how is this midget? It's... 770 feet long. <laughs> Thank you for the follow as well. Uh, hand of Mo hand of Nod. Ooh, the Hand of Nod. Oh, that takes me back. <laughs> oh, really? They did have triple bottom hulls. Well, in that case, we'll try and fit that in, even though it does increase our weight a little bit over where we can go. Uh, I'll have to fiddle around with the rest of it. Um, chat, you can start thinking about uh, what, um, in fact, uh, I'm going to make this even more difficult. I'm going to go for standard and I'm going to reduce it at the end. So I'm going to have to balance the ship. So I need to lose 6%. Hmm. And actually, I'm going to go medium range as well, just to make it even harder. Because uh, that means we need to trim the armor a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't think that's going to be enough. I'm going to have to sacrifice something actually proper. Yeah, I can muck about with the armor all I want. It's not going to... Not going to be enough. Um, I'm going to have to drop something. Uh, and to talk... Four. Hmm. Hmm. Minnesota. We have a vote for Minnesota. So, uh, I could lower the speed, but the the US loved their uh, fast battleships, right? Uh, pretty sure thirty two was Iowa's speed at the time. Uh, not that I was involved in this particular fight, but uh, Arizona. Maryland. Uh, if anyone's prepared to drop a uh, thousand channel points on the uh, name generator, Connecticut, uh, Minnesota. I'm just trying to think where I can cut a corner. Three percent is quite a lot. Go down to anti talk three. I mean, that's still a triple torpedo bulkhead. That's quite a lot. Uh, maybe anti flood two. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. I can do that on armor. Right, tower doesn't need to be that armored. But uh, that makes the least difference. Uh, I could shave the turret tops down a little bit. There we go. Okay, so that's the ship as it would be normally, but it has less range because, uh, although this is just for storytelling purposes, that won't actually do anything, and we have reduced shells. Right, uh, the dual system is shoddy. Uh, Michigan, Hardmore. Okay, Michigan. Done. So we'll get uh, six of these things. 
I think they. I think that's uh, pretty close to what a U.S. battleship would uh, would be like. Let's go. KFC. Hey, K uh, don't mess with don't don't joke about that. Uh, a couple of years ago, there was nearly riots in the UK when uh, KFC <laughs> ran out of chicken. Uh, people absolutely lost their minds with that. Kiasarch. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, just wait for my uh, computer to chug through the uh, building process. KFC came to Sweden a few years ago. And H. Yeah, change the supply chain. Although, did you hear about Nando's running out of chicken? Could be heading towards uh, similar levels of outrage. <laughs> I remember the game of chicken shortage. I know I've triggered the uh, triggered chats. <laughs> Onion. You know you're arguing with the computer, right? It's just random. KFC, Burger King, or McDonald's. Um, I don't don't really go to KFC that. I mean, of the three, I have been to McDonald's the most, so that, I would say McDonald's, I guess. Not spot hashtag not sponsored. Don't uh, don't come at me, YouTube. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the lack of HG uh, heavy goods drivers, Fernandos. But uh, I don't think their customers are going to care too much. They're just going to hear they can't have their chicken. Right. Japan. What the shit? What is that? That is not cool. Look at it. At least they've only got four of the things, but fucking hell. Okay. This is going to go badly. We can see them as well. Look at this thing. It's enormous. What kind of guns are those? 17 inch. Okay, that's not too bad. Still. Jesus. Uh, yeah, that's the other one. They're cruisers... Because sometimes these fleet battles can be an absolute pain in the backside. They have a ton of torpedoes on their cruisers. Not on the heavies. But those little shits do. Look at that. Ugh. And I can't see those ones. Yeah. All those destroyers. That is horrific. Right. Uh, all battleships in the line. Uh, all the cruisers together. All the destroyers together. Okay. Let's have a look at our cruisers very quickly. We have the Pennsylvania. Uh, nine inch guns. Firing Lidite. A couple of torps and loads <laughs> of two inch guns. Even if they are singles. Uh, that'll do. <laughs> Numbers don't matter. That is, that is a hard... Uh, that is a hard Naval Academy mission. And we have the Oakland... Uh, gun Cruisers. Well, hopefully they'll be useful as a screen, which is what I'm going to set them up as. And our destroyers are pathetic. Of course they are. Now then... <laughs> why? Screen for the battleship and destroyers. Normal... Scout order, please. Lovely. Let's see if that actually works. All right, let's come to a new heading and hit play and watch as the uh, AI absolutely flips out. But uh, I, I quite like these uh, US battleships. They're fast. Um, they don't have terrible armor. 
I've got all the mod cons, apart from uh, torpedo protection, which uh, of course is going to be a bit of an Achilles heel. But uh, they're not bad. Uh, oh, one thing I need do need to do is I need to put them on safe ammunition. Do not want them firing their main guns unless they have a good shot because uh, they have already been in battle. Oh, we sank something. <laughs> That's a bonus. Wait, were they firing the 16-inch guns at destroyers? They were. They just saw those torpedoes and like, fuck you in particular. Excellent. Uh, it's not quite what I wanted you to do. Uh, main guns, target the lead battleship, please. Now, you're not in range. Well, that's fine. We'll be in range soon enough. Uh, transports are busy scrambling. I don't know where the West Virginia is going. <laughs> it's supposed to be in a line with the other battleships, but uh, nope. Uh, going off with Utah on their own. We've also got Truxton and Missouri and the Michigan there and the Wisconsin. Okay. Cool. Yeah, absolutely right, Divine Walker. Um, set it to save. And uh, Nate, you ran a prediction, but I missed what it was. <laughs> I was too busy uh, making sure I didn't die. Uh, hydrate, thank you very much. There's a lot of bashing and crashing. It looks like the Japanese are actually trying to close in. Meanwhile, we're trying to get some aiming done. One thing I wish you could do, and I've said this uh, recently in a video actually, is I wish you could tell them not to do this. Like, don't... Like, if you're on save, I don't want you wasting ammunition when you're not getting a lock but uh, that, that is of course part of the target lock bug so yeah, there, 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 there. just just switch your guns off because you're being stupid about it all of you good wait until the range is slightly more sensible and get them all to retarget. Right, 4% without aiming means we can probably go to save. We want to keep a little bit of distance. Uh, we just hit the whatever this ship is. It's coming out quite aggressively and shooting torpedoes at me. Because of course it is. Uh, let's turn away. Because there's so many of those destroyers. These things turn pretty nicely. We'll uh, turn directly away. Uh, the cruisers and things are starting to get in position. Transports are bugging out, which is good. Uh, of course, my cruisers will fire off their own torps. <laughs> Stretch. Oh, thanks, mate. Oh, <laughs> oh dear me. Here comes some torpedoes. Uh, I'm not going to micro the entire fleet to avoid torps forever. It'll take far too long. Now, switch your guns off again. Because you're being stupid. Oh, Pennsylvania managed to avoid. Utah, no, what are you doing? Sake. Uh, they don't do that much damage. 
Uh, long lances. Yeah, they are good, aren't they? Right. Let's get retargeting. Are you trying to just take another one? No. Just a bit more flooded than I realised. Let's go and have a look at these things. 200 million. Yikes. But they're using Cordite. They're pretty fast. Good armour. Increased ammo shells. Fuck. Standards, though. Hmm. If only I could close in. Would make a huge difference. Flooding hit. Uh, they do have maximum bulkheads, though. You know what? Uh, battleships just switch your guns off. Like your main guns. That is not going to go well for us at all. We need to save that ammunition. And we need to thin out their uh, torpedoes. Right. Do they carry standard ammo tops? Okay, so they've all got two shots. Which is just flipping brilliant. Right, I'm going to take command of the... going to tell the cruisers to stop screening and actually form a line. And I'm going to get the destroyers in on the action as well. Because it is cruelty to small ships time. Uh, Automod held the message. Uh, oh, 40 towers. <laughs> hey there, Fritz. Uh, I'm not sure who you have to thank for your uh, gift sub. Uh, there's been uh, quite a few being handed out. Uh, of late, but uh, I'm glad you appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, more destroyer abuse. Yeah, the heavy cruisers aren't very interesting. And yeah, light cruisers could be a threat. It's just those destroyers. They need murdered. However, if they are going to be nice enough to me to allow my battleships to close in on their battleships, I might be able to do something. Automod is just the strangest. Like, genuinely. What I'm kind of hoping, I might be able to drive a wedge between the Unio and the key and the blob of light ships over here possibly well then I'm not having much luck at the moment mainly just flinging shells everywhere oh we killed a destroyer always good oh torps oh Pennsylvania's toast anyway run away Pennsylvania Run away. Retreat. No. Sunk. Never mind. <laughs> Smoke up the destroyers. Actually, what I can do... Uh, find a light cruiser. Smoke them up. And now my heavy cruiser can smoke up. <laughs> I've also arranged the Inyo. We're pretty close, actually. Right. Battleships. Target. Fire. Good hits. Fire again. Thank you for the bit, Onion. Uh, Pritchett explodes. <laughs> Poor Pritchett. She can you get your torps off on the Unio? Destroyers, that would be good. Be one of those monsters that we can take out. Will be good. There goes the Columbia. This is going to be absolute torture. The Philip has fired. Now this could be interesting. What's their torque belt like? 
Uh, Edge Torpedo 3. Hmm. See how they like it once. Uh, they did murder the Philip because of it. And I think we are going to get some torpits. Doesn't mean you should stop firing with the guns. Gotta give them something to worry about. But that is a good shot. Not doing much damage. But they did cause a lot of flooding. That is good. Uh, there is another set of uh, torpedoes coming out. But uh, I actually think it's going to dodge. Hmm. But uh, we're able to stack up the damage from the guns. Definitely dodging those torps. Uh, the destroyer line's looking a little thin now. <laughs> Still though, did not do not too bad a job. Alright Fritz, that's thanks for dropping by. Always good to see you. Big rugby game tomorrow. Good luck. Smash them. Oh, might still get a hit or two. Yes. Good stuff. More flooding. All these engines are out. But uh, with maximum bulkheads, they're not going to be straightforward to uh, destroy. any of these that I can kill that is a plus front of the ship is pretty much gone at this stage another destroyer goes down yeah destroyers just getting Brutalized. They have at least five torpedoes. All right, snapping turtle neck. Thanks for dropping by. Yeah, it's getting late for me too. And here's the left witch. Oh, those torps. Yeah, they were torps. Hmm. That is flooding in every single compartment. They're just able to get on top of it. Uh, I guess we'll just have to smash them apart. Hey, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's the good stuff. Right, one down, three to go. Oh, and the uh, key has been very kind and come right up to us. That'll do, 100% chance to hit. He is the kind of chance to hit I like. A torpedo hit, really? Not even sure that was one of mine. Not going to complain too much. Come on, let's get that next salvo off. Yes, dual flash fire. You are quite right. Oh, thanks for the hydrate.
Uh, I don't always recommend hydrating with cider, but it works. Oh, lovely stuff. Massive damage. That was very silly of them to come that close. Boom. Ah, Cordite, my old friend. <laughs> right, guns off. We're down to uh, less than 400 rounds per ship. We've got the Kasagi coming out. Uh, fortunately, there don't seem to be too many destroyers out the front. Plenty of light cruisers, though. Right, secondary guns from the battleships on light cruiser. If you can, actually go for the one that's coming towards us. Uh, the cruisers. I would like you also to target that cruiser, please. Hmm that one. There we go. Right, go back up to the times five. Uh, torpedoes hit the key. My poor lone destroyer getting wrecked. So is the Albany actually. Oh, Wisconsin got hit by a torpedo. Didn't even see that. Fargo goes down. Oh, my cruisers are getting melted. Right. Main guns on that battleship. 25% chance to hit. That is actually pretty good. division to save, please. Thank you. And I want the whole division firing at the Kasagi. Not whatever random target you choose to pick. Oh, that's good stuff. Big hit straight away. Just punching those neat 16 inch holes in the side of the uh, enemy battleship there, which is heading away, which is a very poor direction to be heading in when you've got all that front facing firepower. Oh, an ammo detonation in a secondary gun, only 156 damage, but still a plus. Why have we slowed up so much? Oh, well. Getting some good hits in. Do, 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 do. Getting a bit rubbish. Scored a pretty big hit back on the Wisconsin. The battleships are holding up surprisingly well. Uh, the cruisers and the like, uh, less so. Uh, any of the cruisers still working? Yeah, the two light cruisers are kind of working. Gonna have to do it with battleships. As per usual. It is the battleships that are doing the job. Yeah, a lot of ricochets. Right, off. Don't know why the Michigan and Truxton are 
having a wee little cuddle over there, but apparently they are. Right, now that Kasagi's turned a bit, let's get back to shooting at it. as well of course a bit of flooding that's not bad right looks like Wisconsin's finally decided she's had enough of being uh, damaged like that uh, what I will do actually is I'm going to detach the Wisconsin and the Utah because they're the damaged ones so you can get a bit more speed going A <laughs> couple more hits. Nothing serious, though. Looks like she's retreating to the cover of torpedoes, of which there are now lots. Great. You know what? I'm not even gonna. I know I'm not gonna avoid them. Like, I know they're miles away, but. Uh, maybe I can actually. Truxton turn. Wisconsin turn. Michigan detach and turn. Fucking destroyers. Good hits. Come on, Truxton. Come on, Michigan. Come on, Wisconsin. You can do it. Oh, Truxton did well. Uh, Michigan less well. Uh, oh, there's more. Good, good. Avoided a lot of them. I'll take that as a win. Kasagi heavily damaged. Smoke up the light cruiser. Oh yeah, there's loads of them. Absolutely tons of the bastards. Yeah, Wisconsin is gonna get pretty badly hit here. Ugh. Yep. Here's another light cruiser. Kamagi still, uh, sorry, Kasagi still going. So many of you bastards. They have so many torpedoes. i try and make my path a little bit unpredictable, but uh, almost certainly going to take some hits. Mind you, more torpedoes sailing off over there, and that's fine. Mm, single one? Yeah, it looks like. Screw it. Let's finish this and go home, boys. Yeah, most of the screening ships are gone. Uh, 
uh, destroyer goes pop. Another flooding hit on the ailing Japanese ship. There's another battleship left though, the Hatsuse. I guess it would be. Ow, come on. No. Oh, I paused it by accident, that's what happened. So many ships with torps. Uh, and without my screening ships, uh, I'm not going to have much luck avoiding the damn things. Wisconsin pretty heavily damaged now. Uh, I'm going to order her to retreat. But she can fire normally. Ooh, took a 17 inch round there. He's still smart when they hit. Main gun destroyed. Oh, 0.6% structure, come on. 0.2, down it goes. Lovely. Lovely. Right, cruelty to small ship time. Weapons free. miss at that range. There we go, that's more like it. <laughs> uh, heavy crews are getting uh, dealt with. Surprisingly resilient, these heavy cruisers. Maximum bulkheads. Pretty much a sieve at this point. Hey there, Ding Dong. Ah, see you, Petronius. Uh, Pretoriana, sorry. Thank you for dropping by. Uh, given the username, I'm guessing <laughs> uh, Ding Dong's in Oz. Add a guess. Or Australia, rather. Oh, we're getting there. Torpedo going out. Oh, HE rounds coming out. No more playing. <laughs> yeah, because there's a big old pile of torpedoes. Of course there is. Gero is out. Take down that heavy cruiser. Where did Missouri get hit? Oh, we won the single torps from the heavy cruisers. Well, I'm fed up with you two doing that. Time to split you two up. Uh, 
and get all the ships managing themselves. Birmingham. <laughs> Never mind then. <laughs> Wait, I'm assuming you mean Birmingham, UK, and not Birmingham, Al uh, is it Alabama? Or uh, is there a Birmingham in Australia? There might be. No, stop it. That's one way of making the ships turn, I suppose. Right, down goes uh, <laughs> some more ships. Thinning them out. We're getting there. Got my four battleships up the front. Where's the fifth one? Got Wisconsin over there. What's the Utah up to? Why the hell has it been all the way over here? Like it was in division, wasn't it? Uh, maybe I'm just being stupid with it. Anyway, Utah, get back in the fight. Still have a battleship to deal with. Hammer detonation in the secondary guns. More talks coming out. A uh, whole bunch of them. Great. Fucking light cruisers. More hits. Alright, Missouri. Here you come. <laughs> yeah, the proper one. Yeah, pile up. Yeah, it is a bit. More torpedo. How many of these things, fucking torpedoes, do they have? Stop it. No, trucks and no. Uh, well, Missouri basically just pushed Truxton into the torpedoes there. It's fine, it's fine. Right, finally got rid of that light cruiser. There is another one over there, I notice. Yeah, I'm just going to task the Missouri with obliterating it. Uh, Truxton can take out the Haku. Uh, Michigan, Iwate. If you please. Lovely hit. Whoa, that's a big spread, Torps. Think it'll miss, though. Let's move from a DD over, over there somewhere. Uh, light cruiser is almost sunk, but not quite. Got to finish it off. No, really? Come on, it will fire torpedoes in a minute. For goodness sake. Shell shortage is starting to get pretty bad now. Hundred damage, still didn't sink it. <sighs> oh, that's got to sink the Haku. Okay, you want it goes down. That's good. If I 
focus on the Mickey Mat. Do, 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 do. <laughs> That's the uh, anti avoidance system, uh, Nimble. Kicking in, aka the sail into torpedoes uh, system. Kill it. Another torpedo hit. It's just those single torps coming out. Uh, you fire on the Keiko. Yeah, you are. Just annoying. Just do not want the Oido. 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 Firing again. Oh, fuck. Well, bye bye, Missouri. That was bad luck. Destroyer goes down. Light cruiser goes down as well. What, what did that to you? Uh, main gun destroyed. Yeah, main gun pen. They uh, got a shell through the turret, which just blew it up. That was unfortunate. Pretty low chance for that to happen. Uh, ignore the enemy battleship, which I have been doing at my own peril. Still though, I'll uh, I'll take the trade for now. It's not the worst trade in the world. Can you please finish off that cruiser? Jesus. Yeah, there we go. Good. And that destroy back there doesn't have torpedoes. Even better. And now we can start hammering them back and flash firing them back. <laughs> ah, there we go. So that is for 234 million dollar battleship sunk for the loss of one 112 million battleship which I will take any day oh lovely stuff right um, I want to actually in terms of damage yeah all the 16s battleships have done all the work enemy damage mostly come from their 17 inch guns but uh, quite a lot from the torps as well. There's a few destroyers left, but uh, I think we can call that a victory. I know there's a torpedo coming out, but like a destroyer with no torps, another destroyer with torps, but uh, I think uh, we can uh, assume that the uh, rest of the Japanese forces will retreat. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, if you still are, um, on YouTube. And uh, I will see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye.